Sean, thanks for talking to Toxic Magazine. Happy um, to be here. I saw the if film. it's a magazine, why are we filming it? Online? Yes, we have a great website. Awesome. Okay. The movie starts in Egypt with the excavations. Now, a scene of that scale just looks so hard to put together. How difficult is it? It's pretty hard. Um, that opening, the origin story, finding the Tablet of Achman Ra, that was in the script since the beginning, like four or five years ago. That was in the script. And we've gone through 30 versions of the screenplay, but I always protected that opening because I loved opening with that kind of scale. Um, we filmed it in the desert of British Columbia, Canada, and we dug into this mountain ridge and created it all real. So other than the pyramids in the distance, that's all a real set. And it took a lot of ingenuity on the part of my art department, and, uh, but it was great fun. I mean, it was really, I'd love to do a whole movie like that. Speaking of fun locations to film, how great was it to be back at the Natural History Museum in New York? I love that museum in New York. It's kind of, it's not a home away from home, but it is a place that's very dear to my heart because my fate and certainly the fate of my career has been intertwined in that museum. And uh, they've been a great partner to me and these movies have benefited them in terms of attendance numbers. So uh, I, I love that place and I love working with that place. When you come to London, well, when Larry comes to London, we see him arrive. I came with Larry, so it was both of us. Oh, you were all there. Yeah, we traveled together. <laughs> when, when he first drives up to the British Museum gates, it's pouring with rain on a, what looks like a cold night in London. Was that by chance or was that planned? Oh, believe me, it's not planned. Um, <laughs> every night that we shot outside in London, it was very cold and raining. And it made for uncomfortable shooting conditions. But I will say that um, in the case of Trafalgar Square, for instance, it was cold and a little miserable filming all night, but now that we brought the lions to life, the, the slickness and the reflective rain on the lions' backs helps sell the reality of those lions. So, tough shoot, great results. Excellent, one final quick question. Scenes like the planetarium opening have amazing special effects, which takes a lot of imagination. Uh, we receive a lot of drawings and things from our readers with great imaginations. What advice would you give them to take it to the next level and become as successful as you have been? Uh, honestly, you keep doing it if you love it. Uh, I can't tell you, making a movie, even a movie this big, it comes down to, it starts with a few people in a room going, hey, what if this? What if this? Hey, what if it looked like this? It is just a bunch of people being creative together. So if you have readers or people watching this who are just kids or teens and they're just, they like drawing, they like creating, keep doing that because at the core of all cinema, of all movie making is that very basic talent and love of creating. So that's what you need to start.